This story tonight, a Portland man has turned an old TriMet bus into a new adventure, a tattoo studio on wheels. He says his ink mobile is one of the first in the Northwest. KT's Carrie Tomlinson joins us, and he said he did this to code. Yes, he did. He runs a brick and mortar tattoo shop in Vancouver and says he has all the proper equipment and licensing for his bus so he can take his tattoos to you. His plan to go to concerts, festivals, events, and fundraisers where people can get a permanent souvenir of their experience. It's a new stop for an old TriMet bus. And passengers here want one thing. No ticket. Nope. Just a tattoo. <laughs> Owner Chris wow. Angelo wanted to bring ink to the people. Step inside. Let's take a look at it. All right. Thank you. He first bought an RV and fixed it up. So this is the driver's seat. But the yeah, RV was too small, even claustrophobic. One day we're sitting on a city bus, just riding a city bus, and I'm looking around. I'm like, man, there's a lot of room in one of these things. So he went on Craigslist and bought himself an old TriMet bus. He and his partner Jimmy good. remodeled it over two years. I got plenty of skin. Keeping that bus feel inside. I like the fact that it was an old TriMet bus. I used to ride it all the time, you know what I mean? I love being able to get on this. I probably rode this bus back in the day, you know what I mean? This was probably the old PAL bus or something, you know? <laughs> They tried out the ink mobile over the weekend at a music festival in Washington and ended up with a line out the door and a hundred tattoos in four days. The response from people, mouths dropped, eyes wide open, just blew their minds. They love this thing. It's a success now. Almost finished. But Chris says it's been a long, bumpy road with this bus. My logo. A lot of time, work, sweat, regulations, and mistakes made. This message on the side of his head might just say it all. It says, uh, failed my way to success. We've had a lot of ups and downs with this thing. So, yeah, I would think of this as a failed my way to success story for sure. So Chris did a special tattoo just for our story today. Yep. Hopefully you can read it. It yep. says K2 on your side right mm -hmm. there. You're dedicated, Carrie. So dedicated. Mm -hmm. He plans to take his bus to a skin cancer research fundraiser this weekend in or Oregon City, giving proceeds to the charity. Don't you think that I this think shows a certain dedication to the The one cause? that says Steve is on your other arm. <laughs> <laughs> now this one's going to wash off no, tonight, but no. you can get a real one on the bus. No, they just told us it's permanent. That stays the <laughs> rest of your life. I'm K2's. working at K2 for the rest of my life. Yeah. I got that right. Good stuff, Carrie. Thank you.